Have you ever wondered if characters in the famous anime Pokemon and game were real? Welcome to Give a Fact, and you are watching the top famous Pokemon in real life. If you like this kind of video, be sure to subscribe for more great content or tell us what you want to learn more about in the comment section below. Now let's get straight to the video, shall we? 1. Pikachu Microthena On the rear abdomen of the arrow-shaped Microthena is a bright yellow marking with two long rear spikes that end with black tips. Slightly more menacing than the mild-mannered cartoon is another row of spikes at the bottom of the Pikachu-like structure. The rest of the spider's body is a bright reddish color, almost resembling an ant. Arrow-shaped Microthenas can be actually found throughout North America and even are widespread in the US. They can be hard to spot though. These spiders are small. Females are usually twice the size of males and grow to only a centimeter, legs included. The bright yellow backs, which only form on females, usually tend to attract attention. Scientists believe this may help the spider prey on insects. A 2002 study published in the journal Ecological Entomology studied a similarly colored black and yellow Australian spider and found that its bright abdomen may help attract prey. Using a black marker, the researchers erased the spider's bright yellow color. The spider whose color had been thus muted were on average less successful at catching prey. While the bright yellow color may attract prey, the spider's spikes ward off predators. Colby explained that the spikes may make it difficult for animals like birds to swallow the small creatures. 2. Shellos Nudie Branch Shellos is a water-type Pokemon that was first introduced in Generation 4 games Diamond and Pearl. Usually, there are two forms of Shellos. The pink form lives in the West Sea of the Sinnoh region, and the blue form lives in the East Sea. Though they have slightly different body shapes, both forms are believed to be based on nudie branches, a group of more than 3,000 soft-bodied sea slugs in the order Nudibranchia. Nudie branches come in a wide variety of colors and body shapes. The blue form of Shellos looks most similar to Lox Chromodorus, a blue nudie branch that has tiny horns and is found in the Indo-Pacific region. It is unclear which species of nudie branch the pink form of Shellos is based on, but it might take inspiration from a number of species. In the TV episode Gateway to Ruin, it is revealed that the formation of Mount Coronet, the mountain that splits the Sinnoh region, geographically isolated the original shellos, causing them to evolve into different forms. In the real world, this phenomenon is known as an allotropic speciation event, and it has happened frequently in the evolutionary past of many modern-day animal and plant species, such as Darwin's finches in the Galapagos Islands. 3. Wooper Newt and an Axolotl Wooper is a dual water and ground type Pokemon, introduced in Generation 2. The original Wooper could have made it onto this list on its own due to its similarities with the Axolotl, an aquatic salamander with external gills on its head. However, a new regional form of Wooper will be arriving in the upcoming video games Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This new Paldian Wooper has more intriguing similarities with a type of Newt. It is poison and ground type, with the ability to poison point, meaning it has a chance to poison other Pokemon that make contact with it, according to the Pokemon website. It also has bones instead of gills sticking out of its head. A 2010 study published in the Journal of Zoology explains that Iberian rib Newts secrete poison and push the sharp ribs through their own skin to jab predators. 4. Caterpie Swallowtail Caterpillar Caterpie is a bug-type Pokemon that was also one of the original 151 entries in the franchise and one of the first Pokemon caught by protagonist Ash Ketchum in the first series of the TV show, which debuted in 1997. To most people, Caterpie might seem like an odd pick for this list because it is obviously based on a caterpillar as its name so clearly suggests. However, the adorable green insect is likely based directly on the caterpillars of several swallowtail butterflies, a group of more than 500 tropical butterflies from the family Papillionidae, particularly the Asian swallowtail, spicebush swallowtail, and eastern tiger swallowtail. 
The most remarkable similarity between Caterpie and Swallowtail Caterpillars is its body shape. Caterpie looks to have a cartoonishly large head, but the Swallowtail Caterpillars have a similarly massive noggin. Like Caterpie, Swallowtail Caterpillars have eye spots, or eye-like rings that are used to scare off birds. The strange fork-shaped protrusion, known as an osmaterium on Caterpie's head, is also found on real-life caterpillars. The osmaterium is a defensive organ found only in swallowtail larvae, which can emit a foul odor that repels small insects and spiders. Caterpie's head fork has a remarkably similar function that it uses to drive away enemies, according to the Pokemon website. Caterpie's evolutions, or the Pokemon it transforms into, also mimic the metamorphosis of caterpillars into butterflies. Caterpie evolves into Metapod, a living cocoon similar to those created by caterpillars, before quickly evolving into Butterfree, which is most definitely a butterfly. However, in an unusual twist, Butterfree is most likely based on a black-veined white butterfly from the distantly related family Pieridae. 5. Sandshrew, Pangolin while its name is made up of the words Sand and Shrew, it comes under the mouse category of Pokemon. Sandshrew looks more like a pangolin or an armadillo, both of which can curl up into a ball like Sandshrew in the Pokemon TV series. However, it most resembles the Sunda pangolin. Singapore Zoo took in a rescued six-week-old Sunda pangolin in 2017 and nicknamed it Sandshrew because of the similarities between this animal and the Pokemon. Sunda pangolins are among the most trafficked mammals on Earth. Killed for their meat and scales, the International Union for Conservation of Nature lists the species as critically endangered with an extremely high risk of extinction. The real-life Sandshrew was safely returned to the wild in 2018 and was tracked as part of pangolin conservation efforts, according to the Strait Times, a newspaper in Singapore. 6. Relicanth, Coelacanth Relicanth is a dual water and rock type Pokemon that first appeared in the Generation 3 games Ruby and Sapphire. The mixed typing of this Pokemon is fitting Coelacanths, given the history of their real life counterparts. Coelacanths are an ancient group of fish that date back hundreds of millions of years in the geological record. They are often described as living fossils because their body shape has barely changed over millions of years. Researchers began finding coelacanth fossils in the 1800s and believed these fish were extinct until an angler caught a live one off the coast of South Africa in 1938, life science previously reported. Relicanth has a similar story page on the Pokemon website, which states, This Pokemon was discovered during deep sea exploration. Its appearance hasn't changed in 100 million years, so it's called a living fossil. 7. Drag algae. Leafy Sea Dragon Dragalgae is a dragon and poison type Pokemon that was first introduced in the Generation 6 games, Pokemon X and Y. Both Dragalgae and its pre-evolution from Skrelp are likely based on the Leafy Sea Dragon, a marine fish in the family Cygnathidae, which also includes pipefish and seahorses. Leafy Sea Dragons are found along the western and eastern coast of Australia and are named after the leafy protrusions found across their bodies. These protrusions are actually flaps of skin and are used exclusively for camouflage to make them look like pieces of floating seaweed. Unlike Dragalgae, leafy sea dragons are not poisonous. In the games, it is revealed that Dragalgae's poisonous nature is due to the Pokemon's diet of toxic rotten kelp. This could be a reference to an ongoing problem in the Caribbean where unusually large blooms of seaweed from the genus Sargassum float onto the shore and release a foul-smelling gas, hydrogen sulfide. A 2021 study found that prolonged exposure to hydrogen sulfide can make local residents feel very unwell. However, leafy sea dragons actually eat small crustaceans and fish larvae that they suck up through their long snouts and not seaweed. 8. Vile Plume, Corpse Flower the corpse flower is the largest individual flower on Earth and is endemic to the rainforest of Sumatra. As well as looking like a cross between a rare steak and a stoma, its appearance is not even the most unpleasant thing about it. 
The corpse flower also happens to give off a powerful odor of rotting flesh. Turns out, they don't call it a corpse flower for nothing. Like vile plume, the corpse flowers are either male or female, rather than possessing both parts on a single plant. This means that, because they're so rare, the chances of a male and female being close enough to each other to pollinate and reproduce are vanishingly small. And that is a wrap. What did you learn from this video? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope that our educational videos will help spread the knowledge so everyone can protect our world and biodiversity together. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you find our videos useful and want us to make more videos. Until next time, give a fact.